I thought this auto feeder was so good, I bought another one from the same company, Pet Bank. And it is actually one that I've been using for the last couple of days, hence why I've opened the box. I thought I'd test this one thoroughly before doing a review, and I've got to say, it's just as good as I expected. Packed full of features, which we'll go through now. In the box, to start with, you get a cable to recharge it, you get a sticky pad, which I'll explain later, and you also get your manual. There's not a lot in there, but it is useful information and it is in lots of different languages. The auto feeder itself is actually a pretty standard design. This is what you think of when you think of an auto feeder. One of the reasons why I bought its brother over here is because it was a bit different and a bit snazzy. And this one actually does have some more interesting features than this one. However, in terms of ease of use, I would say this one is probably the most easy in terms of refilling the food um, and positioning. But let's just go through some of the features it has. Firstly, one of the biggest issues when it comes to putting an auto feeder on your aquarium is mounting. Mounting can be tricky. There are lots of different types of aquariums with lots of different um, ways of it being mounted to them. The most common one is having your glass down here and you just basically do this up until the glass is sandwiched between the two bits of plastic and it will just sit there like that. Now this is quite a neat trick where it can swivel, which means it doesn't matter where you need to mount it, it doesn't matter the angle of your glass, you can just swivel it until the opening is at the desired position. The other thing you can do is remove this entirely. It's a little bit stiff, but I guess you want that, you don't want it falling off. And you can use your sticky pad. This is a bit like 3M sticky pad. Um, it goes on there and then you can stick that in place. So obviously if it's a more permanent solution to affixing your auto feeder. I think it could mean you could possibly affix it sideways as well. If you need to have it like that, you could do. I don't think you could do it upside down just to how the opening works, but it gives you a few more possibilities when it comes to mounting. Now obviously, this is full of flake because I've been using it to see how it works, but let's have a look how you refill it. So when you take it apart, you've obviously got the motor unit. The motor unit is the part that spins and it is quite basic. It is all plastic, but plastic, I guess, is okay for aquariums. It keeps the price down, doesn't it? And in terms of the cylinder itself, it's quite simple. It has a little um, tab there. Just push it open and you can refill your flake. Now I'm using a mix of flake and fine pellets and that mixture works totally fine. There doesn't seem to be any restrictions on the foods that you can put in here. Whereas on the other one, it says only pellets. However, I've been using flake on that anyway. In terms of programming, it's actually got lots of different options. So obviously that's the time. And these four squares are the number of feeds you can do per day or per session. I'll explain that in a minute. So the number inside the square is the number of rotations that this will do per feed and it goes up to three. I've got mine set for two feeds a day, one rotation per day, if that makes sense. You can also make it so that the timing of this is either every eight hours, every 12 hours, every 24 hours, or every 48 hours. What that basically means is when you set that particular time frame, it will cycle through these four feeds within that time frame. So you could essentially do this every 48 hours or every eight hours if you wanted to. One thing you'll also notice on the front here is a battery meter and also a USB-C charge port. Now this is one of the things that drew me to the, uh, the first version, the round version, because it's sustainable. It's a bit more environmentally friendly. A lot of other models, cheaper models, have AA batteries that you put in there and obviously you have to replace them. I like rechargeables, so this you can obviously just use your cable, um, you can either do it to a normal USB socket on your outlet, or if you've got a phone charger or something, I've been using that to go into there. Just like the round one though, it has an issue where it's open to water. Now it does say that this isn't waterproof, fair enough, 
However, in aquariums and around aquariums, you get humidity, you get moisture, and this is open to getting into here. You might even splash it by accident. Um, so one thing I'd recommend doing is putting a little USB-C cover onto one of these so that if you do get water in it or if it is humid, like in my fish house, it stops this from corroding. In terms of battery life, well, my round one, I've charged it once a month and it was at half charge during that period. So you could probably get around two months out of this, but obviously it depends on how often you do your feed. But I've been feeding twice a day and it's comfortably surviving a month between charges. So how does the food actually come out of this unit? Well, there's two options. Firstly, this slides open. Now, I don't think this is intended as how you use it as a feeder. I think this might be another way of refilling it. However, if you did have a big requirement for food, you could potentially use that as your feeding. But the main one is this little slot here. Now, it is ridged. You can hear it. So that does mean it does stay in place once you've set it. It shouldn't move all that much. Um, but that's basically all you do. You just open up the slot. Now, obviously, depending on what food you use, um, you're going to have to do this by eye to start with. I'd start a little bit smaller than you might need and then gradually increase it until you get the desired amount. But I'll show you in a second how much this opening uh, releases into my aquarium. So here's my tank, it's a marine tank, and obviously these are marine fish. However, they are fully trained to eat flake food, even the long-nosed butterfly. So here's the auto feeder in place, next to my little mangrove forest here, and I'll just do the manual button, because there is a button on here which lets you just do one rotation. It should go straight away, and we can see it release the food. There we go. So I would say that's possibly not quite enough for my fish. I might need to open it slightly more. I have closed it for this video. So we'll do another rotation, slightly more open, and we'll see how much that changes. So yeah, that is more like it. You can see it just goes back to place. Now, if you had that on a double or triple rotation, it'd go around two or three times. But yeah, it works really well. And especially if you're going away, like me, I'm away a lot, um, or you just can't get to your fish tank as often as you would like, an auto feeder is a really great way of just automating one of the most important things for your fish, which is giving them food and nutrition. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and also subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Everybody who's watched the end of the video, you are my absolute VIPs. Thank you so much. Once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.